the best part of silver is how shiny it is. Until it isn't. Let's clean this up. Hi everyone, I'm Katie Elizabeth at Crafting a Classy Home. Last week I showed you this great thrifting find. This coffee pot and sugar bowl are Oneida brand silver plate. The pattern is Georgian scroll and was produced between 1992 and 1999. Silver plate is a little different from sterling silver or solid silver, so it requires slightly different care. One way that you can tell what you have is by a maker's mark. And whoever produced or made the silver will put some sort of insignia on the back showing who they are, the maker's mark. If it is sterling silver or solid silver, um, it'll also include a mark that says 925, 0 0.925, 92.5%, or um, the purity of the silver. It's not considered sterling silver until it's at that level or higher. Silver plate, on the other hand, won't necessarily have these marks, and it can make it a little harder to recognize. So there's a few tests that you can do to determine whether your shiny piece is actual silver or not. Try polishing it. If there's a black residue on your cloth, it's probably silver or silver plated. Silver plate is made by dipping a brass item into silver. Silver and brass, like other precious metals, are not magnetic. If a magnet is attracted to it, it's probably not silver. Real silver will tarnish. This occurs when the silver reacts with trace amounts of sulfur in the air and oxidizes. First, it will give your silver a slight yellowish tinge, then it may become slightly purple before turning black. Keeping your silver in a case or a bag made of a special fabric will help to protect it. That fabric absorbs the sulfur in the air. When working with silver plate, one must actually be more cautious. Abrasive cleaners and overpolishing may scratch or strip the silver. Also, silver plated items might be lacquered and hot water can actually remove this protective layer. To test if your item is lacquered, press a fingernail into the surface in an inconspicuous spot. If it leaves a small indent, it is lacquered and care must be taken to not use hot water when cleaning. Acidic cleaners can also damage silver. Lemon is often added to dishwashing soap, so make sure to check that before you wash your silver. And I highly recommend to always hand wash any silver or silver plated items. Polishing is actually hard on silver. What you're doing is removing that oxidized metal to show the shiny silver underneath. This is especially true of silver plated because you could actually remove all of the silver plate. Polishing doesn't have to happen that frequently, really only a couple of times over the lifetime of a piece, once a year at most. Silver polish comes in many different ways. You can get a cream, a liquid, or even wipes. You will also need a clean microfiber cloth. Always read and follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to properly use their product. Most products will have you apply the polish in small circular motions, rinse off, and then buff with a clean cloth. Sometimes we buy or inherit a piece that needs a much deeper cleaning. I recommend this following process because it's the least abrasive and will save as much of your silver as possible. First, gather your supplies. You will need a microfiber cloth, aluminum foil, baking soda, a pot to warm or boil water, and a bowl or bucket large enough to submerge your item in. Line your bowl or bucket with aluminum foil and place your silver item in the bowl directly in contact with the aluminum foil. This process works by creating a small electrical current that will remove the tarnish from the oxidized silver without removing any of the underlying metal. Bring enough water to fully submerge your item to a boil in a large saucepan. Remove from the heat and add baking soda while it is still hot. For every one cup of water, add one tablespoon of baking soda immediately pour over silver. If your item is lacquered, wait until the water is warm to the touch. Allow the item to sit in the cleaning bath for five to 10 minutes. Silver is an excellent conductor of heat, so take care when removing your items. Rinse under warm water to remove any remaining film. Finally, you can dry your item with a soft microfiber cloth and polish it as usual before storing. There you have it, how to take care of silver or silver plated items. 
If you're interested, I also have a video on best practices when caring for antique wood. Or if you'd like to see more thrift finds, you can check out this video. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more about crafting, creating, and curating a classy home. Thanks everyone.